Hey guys, uh, welcome back to part 11 of this uh, Brumbar build. It's Monday, uh, March 18th, and it's been a month and a day, I think, since my last video. I apologize for that. <clears throat> Work, life, mojo, what else is new? So what have I been up to? Well, I've been painting the figures. Um, they're just about finished, except for the flesh tones uh, and the boots. I just put a coat of, a very thin coat of burnt umber on the boots. I don't have any red, brown, and acrylics. So I just use leather and a bit of burnt umber. I'll let that sit for an hour maybe and then brush it all off. These figures went together really, really well. I had a lot of fun painting them. Um, yeah, the detail wasn't as crisp as a resin figure, but they were really, really nice. And, um, like I said, I had a lot of fun painting them. And I prefer to paint my figures with the arms and the heads off and most of the gear. Um, that's just the way I do it. It's easier for me to do it that way. Um, here's the arms and the heads. And the weapons are done. The BAR. I don't know if you can see that. M1 carbine. And a grand. They were detailed really, really nice. To me, his weapons are always nicely detailed. Um, helmets are done. I just mounted them on Q-tips to paint them. Once I have them glued onto the heads, I'll dust them up a bit with some pigments. Um, so they were painted with acrylics, humbrils, and oils. Um, I used a lot of sepia for a lot of the shading and olive green for the base for the olive drab. And um, I didn't have any um, olive brown and oils, so I went with acrylics. And the acrylics I used were all Viejo, khaki, field drab, Brown sand, that's for the undercoat or the base coat for the flesh tones. Olive drab, leather, oh no, that's, yeah, leather, uh, burnt umber, khaki gray, olive brown. Oh, that's not the one I used. Reaper gun metal, black, and that's it. And then the humbrils, I used khaki drill, a little bit of field drab, and khaki drab. I tried a few different things <clears throat> on this, uh, on these figures. Um, different shades of olive drab. Uh, lightened it with a bit of cad yellow. Um, tried a bit of buff titanium oil to lighten it. Uh, don't ever use white to lighten olive drab because you get like a pea soup color and it looks hideous. Um, tried some highlighting, different kinds of highlighting techniques. Um, I went ahead and tried highlighting uh, olive drab with a bit of khaki. It actually came out pretty good. I've changed my painting style over the last few years. I used to be into extreme highlighting and shading. Um, but it, I... Looking back at some of the figures I painted years ago, it didn't really look right. So I'm more into subtleness now with my highlighting and my shading. It just looks, it looks more realistic to me. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, this isn't going to be a very long video. Um, I'm going to start on the flesh tones in the next day or two. And uh, oh, these are all the brushes I used. Nothing fancy, just the uh, art store brands. And uh, yeah, none of these brushes cost me more than five or six bucks. And uh, got my good sables for the flesh tones. Um, yeah, I'll get to that in a couple of days. Um, oh, one thing, whoever designed these figures had a great eye for detail. This figure here is the one carrying the M1 carbine. So he's got two two-clip pouches on his web gear. If you look closely, I don't know if you can see that. On the um, 
ammo pouch on his right hip, one of the clips is missing because it's in the carbine. I thought that was an excellent detail and one I've only seen maybe once or twice of all the figures I've painted. So did a really, really nice job. Um, again, these are really nice figures. So if you're looking for good figures that aren't going to cost you an arm and a leg, I think these this set cost me 22 bucks or something like that. Um, there's a U.S. tanker set I'm going to get, a Wehrmacht tanker set that I'm going to get that's four full figures and four half figures. And there's a, a German machine gun team that's, I don't know if it's out yet, but I saw a video review of it on YouTube a while back. And um, I'm going to pick that one up too. Again, they went together really nice. No filling needed. A um, couple of seam lines I had to clean up, but no big deal. And um, yeah, they came up really, really nice. Way to go to Mia. So I guess that's it. Um, I'll be back hopefully within the next couple of weeks or less to um, show the figures when they're done with the flesh tones. So thanks for all my, to my subscribers, my old and new ones. And um, thanks for all the comments on my last video. And uh, you guys all take care. One thing I forgot, because I always end up forgetting something, is my palettes. Where am I going to put this? My wet palette. I did a lot of mixing different colors and acrylics and playing with different shades and looked like a Jackson Pollock painting. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit more comfortable detailing with acrylics. Um, it's just, you know, a learning process. And that's my oils. Uh, not a very huge palette, limited colors, but a lot of different color combinations. So, um, there's some humbrels on there and yeah. So there we go. Okay, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care.